see if I can knock out another video. Um, so, my boss recently bought a smart watch. As you can see, it is a smart watch. In a flashy, plain cardboard box. And uh, you probably have already guessed it's uh, worth not a lot. I believe it's Android based. And he paid somewhere around $13 for it. And it doesn't work. It did work. It, uh, it worked for a very short while. He plugged in a SD card, at which point it stopped working completely, even with the card removed. So we get to have a play with this and see if we can't make it come back to life. I have no idea what brand it is. Here's a bit of a booklet. A uh, smart watch phone. Um, I'm not even sure if you can put a. If you link, you must link to a. Well, see a smart watch phone. Maybe you put an SD card in it. What's this? It's Chinese. It's English. Uh, what have we got there? Charging info. Safety warning. Uh, uh, quick use. Blah 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 blah. Will not take your phone GPRS. Something, something. It says scan the QR code, which is right there. And this is, book has been shrunk down so much, the QR code is completely illegible. Uh, something, something. A lot of this lettering's blurred. And notice full charge usage. Um, oh, one to two hours to fully charge when dead. Uh, common troubleshooting, blah blah blah. Warranty info. Uh, who knows? Okay. Mm, on the bottom, we oh no, that's the top. So we have a camera in the top. We have a button on the bottom. We have only a button on the bottom. Interesting. Looks like the case is coming apart already. I wonder if he's already opened it up. And there's not even a, a button on the side. Maybe the only way to insert the card is to open it up. It's on the side here. There's a flap. And under the flap is a USB charge port. Okay, so you maybe have to open it in order to install the card. Let's do that. Let's just pop a charge cable into it and see what happens. First, micro USB. Blank screen. I got myself one of these USB ammeters, which is a pretty good idea um, for many reasons. Uh, I can see it's drawing 0.4 of an amp, so it is uh, definitely charging the battery. Uh, I'll just leave that on for a couple of minutes and see what happens. Just a quick peek at the USB charge meter. I see it just stopped charging. I'm just going to unplug it and plug it in again and see if it does anything. There we go. 0.4 of an amp again. So while that's plugged in, let's just hold the button at the bottom and see what happens. I expect it to turn on within about four or five seconds holding it down, but no, she's dead. Pretty well dead. What's the uh, current draw? Zero. Going back to zero. So maybe the battery's fully charged. Right, let's uh, pop the back off. Nothing like a nail under the edge. There we go. And we have a small lithium battery. Hmm. Haven't seen one like that before. Bound to be something out there that uses the same sort of uh, cell. 
Let's just do a quick voltage test to see what we have or haven't got. And 3.9, sort of near enough. What's in the back? We have SD card and a SIM card slot, so you can make and uh, receive phone calls from this. Uh, now, I wonder... Okay, can I take the strap off to make it easier to work on? Uh, it doesn't really look like it's designed to come off. It does look like some uh, flex going up into the wrist. I wonder if there's a vibrator in the wrist or something. It's a bit interesting. Uh, anyway, SIM card, SD card slot. He said he put the SD card in and then it stopped working. Uh, I wonder if I should unscrew the case. Why not? Let's let's go whole hog on this. Four screws in the corners. the same length. <laughs> Almost looked like one was longer for a second there. Three. I can count. Now, which separates from what? Okay, looks like it's splitting around the side here. Mm, how far will it go? I am due to do something about this camera that I'm using. The battery lasts almost, well, no time really compared to what it used to. I mean, it's probably the battery, but uh, yeah, not many options in that size battery for rechargeable lithium. Hmm. What an awkward little thing. There we go. Trick to it. Just don't want it to all spring out of my face. <laughs> okay, so the trick here is to lift it over the USB port. So you need to pull on the plastic slightly, flex it outwards, so it slips up over the USB port, and then it all appears to just come apart. Now I've already lost the right strap, and I'm about to lose the left strap, although as you can see it's held on by a little black wire. I don't exactly know what the purpose of that is yet. Maybe... No, I'm not going to guess. Let's just try and not move this too much. I want to flex that little that black wire to a point of snapping it off anything. It looks cheap and nasty enough as it is. So he said he was putting the SD card in and it stopped working and uh, it's uh, probably a good place to start looking. There's some black tape over here that's covering a bunch of the circuitry, so let's have a look under there. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you see that? Right there. It's a little little SMD thing. Wish I had a microscope. Anywho. Yeah. Tiny little what looks like an inductor not quite brown enough to be a capacitor. It's just been knocked off the board. 
and a bit of schmutz beside it that overlays down onto those pads you can see the pads that's come off from yeah poor lighting I know well it turned out to be a capacitor after all which is interesting because I wouldn't have thought that would stop it working so let's pop a battery on it and see what happens holy crap how a capacitor would stop that working I mean it's only a power rail it's hardly likely it was going to be enough I mean it was only a microfarad of all things okay let's shut this thing down how do I shut this down power off uh, yes <laughs> there we go one fix and I suppose a lesson to be learned when dealing with tiny little devices like these where there's not much space to, to to put something in just be really careful with it and don't mash it down and rub it around and and whatnot mm. okay let's get that back together all right let's try that again i'll just give that screen a wipe it's a bit smudged it's a bit smudged Watch. Excellent. Hmm. Not sure what it's trying to connect to. There is no SIM installed. Uh, menu. Oh, yeah. It has iPhone like icons. What a ripoff. I'm going to plug the charge cable in and just see what it does. Battery shows full, all of three bars of the three bars available. <laughs> Charger connected. Any animation? There is an animation of the battery icon. Well, the owner shall be happy. Pretty simple that one, but uh, thanks for watching.